Welcome back to the channel guys with a new video review. Today is the time of the new Adit Zero SL version uh, 2. I have to admit uh, I was not happy with the version 1. It was very firm especially in the forefoot and uh, therefore I retired the, the shoe even before 100 miles. So let's check if there are any improvements in this version uh, especially in the forefoot and uh, if we can enjoy for more miles. So let's check it out. As always, we're gonna start from the specs, then uh, the outsole, midsole and upper, and uh, at the end, I'll give you my first impression, because this is my first run with the Adit Zero SL uh, version 2. So, finger crossed. About the weather, I don't know what to say. Uh, we are in June and uh, it's still 10 degrees, around 10 degrees here in Paris. So pretty cold, but it is what it is. Let's hope that the summer season will start soon. Especially for the Olympics games, uh, this weather is not that bad. We could see a lot of records, guys. So I suggest to subscribe to the channel if you don't want uh, to miss uh, this new adventure. And of course, if you like this kind of content in this video, push the like button, you will support me, the channel, and uh, I'm gonna bring new uh, shoes review. Starting from the specs, we have a weight of uh, 267 grams, uh, not that light. Uh, the drop is 8.5 millimeters. Uh, the stack is not that low to the ground, uh, but still I can feel the, uh, the ground. And uh, the midsole is um, a sandwich of uh, Light Strike Pro and Light Strike. And there is uh, neither energy roads uh, nor torsion systems, uh, unfortunately. Outsole now. So the house sole is uh, in Adiware. It's not continental rubber. Uh, it has a similar design pattern than uh, uh, the other seven. Uh, so wide in the forefoot, quite narrow in the heel, uh, with a really good grip. Uh, doesn't feel too tough and uh, stiff underneath my feet. Uh, not sure still in wet conditions, but in dry condition, the grip is pretty, pretty nice. I can feel the ground, just wear the ground. So, not bad at all. But if you remember, with the other seven, we had the issues uh, that the stones get stuck in the, in the house, so with not really pleasant feeling during running. So I hope this is not the case for the Adit Zero itself. Just afraid about the three holes in the forefoot where we might have some stones stuck. But uh, we will see during the miles. For the moment, we can just uh, cross the fingers. By the way, I'm running Along the sand, the river is just there. Now we're gonna check the level because it was quite raining the last two months uh, here in Paris. So it was a uh, lot of rain, also not even uh, able to, to run properly. So we're gonna check some midsole now. Here we got the midsole, guys. We have the same configuration as the first version we have a light strike pro sandwich uh, uh, with the light strike normal light strike uh, the first version I was not even feeling the light strike pro to be honest uh, uh, the forefoot was so stiff I got injured uh, uh, for this reason and therefore I retired the shoe even before around the miles uh, yeah uh, pretty stiff Four foot in the first version and also the energy return was not that good so the probably the rock in the forefoot not was not enough to support uh, training like uh, tempo run for instance uh, so yeah and I was not even able to use in the uh, slow running uh, in fast trainings uh, 
uh, yeah, so that was a failure from my point of view. Um, I have to say that today I can feel more uh, the Life Strike Pro uh, in the forefoot, uh, meaning it is softer than the uh, first version, even if today is the first run, so uh, still is an issue. So it should be really uh, firm, but still I can feel the Life Strike Pro more than the previous version. Maybe the quantity is more uh, and it is sandwiched between two a thinner layer of a light strike uh, but the feeling is better uh, so finger crossed because I'm gonna check it also of course in tempo runs and uh, let you know for sure the shoe is uh, responsive uh, the drop is perfect so we have 8.5 millimeters of drop which is uh, ideal for me uh, lower it's not my drop usually because uh, for my calf uh, could be an issue and I uh, I don't feel that comfortable so 8 millimeters of drop is a perfect uh, drop for me by the way the shoe feel very light uh, in my feet uh, but also uh, responsive so let's try a sprint It is uh, responsive and uh, still firm, guys. I have heard that people are waiting for the Adios 9 uh, because, of course, it's full Life Strike Pro and is more comfortable. The energy return is better than the Life Strike, uh, so pretty understandable. Uh, if you have the chance to buy two pair of shoes, one for racing and one for training uh, then the uh, SL uh, version 2 is a good companion for training of course instead the Adios Night could be for your uh, race day Upper now! And now let's move on to the upper uh, which is usually a pretty sensitive topic at least for me I mean in terms of breathability, in terms of shape in terms of durability, yeah, everything. As I say, guys, a lot of rain, and this is the result. The river is almost full, so quite, quite impressive and uh, uh, dangerous. But look at that, people is training. Hi! <laughs> nice to see, even though the situation uh, and the conditions are not that good during the last weeks and here is uh, the other channel the bigger one and you see the bench and the level of the water look at that it's pretty scary huh? but let's continue with the with the upper of this shoe so even the weather which is not that hot and warm uh, I can feel my feet pretty warm so I believe it's a pretty warm upper maybe not good for countries warm countries but uh, pretty good for the winter season or weird seasons like uh, this year uh, in June but it's still pretty solid feeling so I guess in terms of durability it, it should last very long and there is also quite a lot of uh, overlay material in the upper especially in the forefoot uh, but also in the heel so the lockdown the foot lockdown is very good I tried different sprints and uh, it, uh, it feels very good, it's not loose and uh, uh, the, the foot is locked uh, either in the heel but also in the forefoot or I took uh, half size uh, bigger 
so I would say that this is not two to sides this is a kind of upper that I like because it doesn't leave any room uh, either in the heel or uh, uh, in the forefoot uh, so the the foot is uh, locked uh, pretty well uh, and therefore especially during uh, fast running uh, you don't have this uh, foot or four foot sliding uh, which is not pleasant at least for me guys so the counter is uh, soft it has also some uh, uh, padding inside of it, which is pretty comfortable uh, so it is not that high in the heel and uh, uh, the tongue is in my opinion very wide and uh, with too much padding it could be even lighter and save a little bit of weight uh, the lesson system uh, it's kind of classical in the added zero so holds uh, pretty well what I'm really disappointed with are the laces that are not the flat and traditional one but are the smaller thinner and uh, usually uh, they don't hold pretty well like the traditional one I'm gonna check guys the running dynamics in the full review because I believe it's too heavy and your impressions so at the end guys the feeling I have is like uh, especially in the heel to run in the audio 7 so kind of similar than the audio 7 but with a wider uh, forefoot I like a lot the audio 7 uh, more than the audio 8 and uh, yeah even the colorway remind me the audio 7 so very nice surprise so far uh, yeah the audio 7 was better in terms of uh, upper was uh, lighter uh, more breathable and a little bit more narrow in the forefoot so for those of you who have uh, a wider forefoot then uh, I believe it's better than the audio 7 or audio 8 let's see what it will come with the audio 9 and uh, yeah as I said before uh, the midsole feel more comfortable especially in the forefoot in comparison to the first version of the Adi Zero SL so so far it looks like uh, they improved the model uh, especially in the forefoot uh, let's see I mean it's the first run are uh, the first impressions so uh, let's wait at least the another miles review to give you my final uh, scores and uh, yeah I would then suggest to wait also uh, the Adios uh, 9 but as I said before I believe these shoes co could be a really good companion for training and uh, especially for lighter runner uh, maybe also for slow running uh, but for sure it is a fast shoe so pretty responsive pretty firm so I would suggest for fast workout at least for now uh, for fast workout and uh, maybe but I need to test it out for tempo run say so that guys that's it for today and uh, as always uh, as always thank you for watching and uh, if you like this content please leave a like uh, share the video with your friends subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, till the next time keep running <laughs> bye bye Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits 
I build tall, never trapped in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. And now let's enjoy Sunday. Peace.